you know i can't see without but like the the glare is not gonna it's gonna be distracting Anyway, what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I've sat on the floor of my room with the camera in front of me. But um, third year is not too easy so I'm, I'm sorry for missing about two weeks of videos but I'm back. And I have an iced coffee with me and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys just the random things I just picked out that I have been loving lately. So basically my favorite products, my favorite, I don't know, it's a favorites video, people do this. And um, without further ado, let's get into this video, finally. The first few things I want to talk about is beauty or beauty products, etc, etc. And most of it is skincare. I think I only have like two makeup things here. Because uh, I haven't been like chilling in all the makeup in the world lately because my skin is totally hating me right now. Um, but hey, that's what you get for stocking up on caffeine and staying up late or waking up super early to study in the mornings. Your skin doesn't, your skin isn't happy with you after that. Anyways, so the first products I want to show you is the uh, Body Shop Vitamin C Glow Boosting Moisturizer and the Vitamin C Glow Protect Lotion. These two have been my absolute babies lately this is just a cream for hydration and this is an spf and these two together are the bomb yeah so after i cleanse my face tone etc etc and after i put my serums i add a load of this and it's a gel cream there's a gel cream and i put a generous amount of this on my skin i used to put a little bit but now i realize that because we're rolling into summer and my skin gets really dry in summer i need a lot more of it so i put a generous amount of this on and then i pop the uh, glow protect lotion on this is SPF 30 so these two together are awesome and I highly recommend it if you feel like your skin is a tired and dull or if you just want to smell really fresh because it smells like oranges and it is amazing next is my favorite serum right now and this is I think my third or my second bottle of this this is the body shop drops of light pure healthy glow I am not joking this stuff is awesome i use it in the evening and um in the morning after i tone my skin and one it smells really really fresh and clean and it's not an oily texture it's more of a water-based texture and it soaks it soaks into your skin really easily it smells good and i feel like your creams your facial creams and makeup stuff apply a lot better after applying a serum so this has been my favorite one the next facial product is actually a diy i use and it's a bit orange but i took the old bottle of my old vitamin e serum and i just pulled the label off and i created my own facial oil mainly because my skin has been so dry and just like bleh and whatever creams i put on at night it's just like into my skin and then it feels like I put nothing on so I made a DIY facial oil where I just fold this about three-quarter way with grapeseed oil pure grapeseed oil and I topped it off with vitamin E oil and about two or three drops actually I, I actually I put five drops five drops of pure tea tree oil in this and all I do is after everything instead of a night lotion I put this um, oil on my skin grapeseed oil helps with protecting your skin from the uv rays it helps with dark circles it helps with blemishes it helps with acne it helps with moisturization there's a lot of benefits for grapeseed oil for your skin and then we're going to move on to makeup so the foundation i went and i bought a new foundation because i didn't really need it but i saw it and i decided to buy it and waste my money but this really wasn't a waste of money because it is awesome this i think this is the first time i found a foundation that matches my not perfectly but it matches better than my other foundations i've used and this is the ramel lasting finish skin perfecting full coverage foundation so it looks like this and it claims to be a, a 25 hour wear honestly i don't I don't wear a lot of this foundation just because my skin I have like marks everywhere and I've been breaking out a lot so to cover all that redness I've been using this foundation and I literally just put like one two three dots of it and then I just take my stippling brush and um, work it into my skin it is definitely full coverage but it doesn't last 25 hours maybe because I'm not really 
setting it with the powder or spray etc afterwards but i wouldn't say it's 25 hours and if you're wearing your foundation for 25 hours that that can't be good for your skin but anyway um this <laughs> this foundation also has an spf of 20 which uh, is quite nice on those days that i forget to put this on and that happens quite often but uh yeah as for eyes we have seen this before i have done a whole video using this um this palette and this is the tartlets in bloom palette by tarte obviously tartlet tarte no, no, no. the colors are awesome and they very nude and there's some pinkies there and the pigmentation of this palette is really good obviously it does have quite a bit of fallout and i've seen other people um other people battle with that but it doesn't bother me so much because it blends well it smells good the colors are perfect for like everyday use and um it's really pigmented all right next up is a hair product so you guys obviously know that i have red hair and red hair is a pain to maintain because the color washes out so quickly and when it washes out it becomes orange and then yellow and then it just goes to like white because obviously with indian hair you have to strip it down with bleach till it's like white 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 for the color to catch so it is a pain to maintain it and i do dye my hair like every month or every two months with a normal regular box dye just so that the color is still there but for every time i wash my hair i have been using this evo 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 fabuloso purple red color intensifying conditioner so if you were just so that's what it looks like it is purple red i'm not gonna open it because it's like it's really messy but when i wash my hair instead of normal hair conditioner i put some gloves on and i work this into my hair as a conditioner i do not put on the scalp because if it doesn't wash out properly it does make your hair greasy and you see what i mean this helps the color so much i am not joking basically redyes your hair but it also acts as a treatment for your hair i feel like i'm going through this really fast forgive me if i am talking really fast but i wasn't intended to sit down and film the video today i was going to film it tomorrow you know like all prepared with a script in front of me and the tripod set up and i was going to sit on the bed but then i was like you know what? i'm going to make a cup of coffee and just sit down and talk into the camera for half an hour next up on my favorite list is the books that i have been reading and i know some of this might not be so interesting but it's still a favorite right now so the first book i decided to start reading is the alchemist um which my sister read and i've seen a whole lot of people read it and it is still till today the number one best-selling book apparently started reading this book i'm not that far in it because i can't really read one book at a time i have to read at least two books at a time one fiction one non-fiction the next book i re started reading again well i didn't really read it properly the first time is 101 secrets for your 20s by paul and Gold. i don't know anyway i'll leave the names to the books down below and um this is a non-fiction like i said it's a non-fiction and it is what do you do when you hit your 20s and realize the life you knew for the last two decades has been changed, twisted, or hashtagged into something you weren't expecting. And the last book I've been reading is obviously, um, I got the ebook version of it. I'm sure you guys would have noticed by now, I rant on a lot about Kayla Nicholson's YouTuber that I've been following forever. And she finally released her novel called Catcher. And I've started reading this book. I again haven't gotten too far in it but obviously when i do start reading i don't stop and then i fall asleep and yeah. but now that i've got a few days off before i get back to campus i'm gonna try and finish this book but it's the way she writes is quite impressive i must say like i bought one of her books before but this book i love the way she writes it and it's a different it's different those are the three books that i'm reading right now the alchemist 101 secrets for your 20s and catcher so i'm sure you can see i read a completely fiction book that has nothing to do with life then i read a non-fiction where i can read like a page a day or something then i read a fiction that will teach you a lesson in life kind of something like this and that's how i read books which is why it takes me forever to finish one book well, anyway that is all of my current favorites right now and i hope you guys enjoyed this very impromptu video that was not supposed to happen but happened 
and I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> so those are obviously all my favorite beauty products, my favorite hair products, and the books that I have been enjoying and reading so far. If you guys want to see more of these videos, just give this video a thumbs up to let me know or pop it down below. And with that, don't forget to follow my Instagram and my Twitter. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hinky Pinks is almost at 300 subscribers, which is insane. Since I only started this channel in January, but I want to thank you guys for all of the support. So let's see if we can get to 300. So thumbs up, subscribe, and make sure that you guys hit the notification bell so that you guys are notified when I post a new video. And with that, I hope you guys have an awesome weekend and a week whenever you're watching this just have an awesome day keep smiling and i'll see you guys all next time bye guys